What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be checking out a free blatant client on Hypixel and I'll be answering the question, can you bypass with a free client or do you really need to spend money? I will also be addressing some of the potential problems and risks with free clients as well as doing a partial review on Eternal. This client is 100% free and I'll leave their Discord down below. I have not been sponsored or even contacted by anybody at Eternal so my thoughts are my own as always. Speaking of cheating clients, check out today's sponsor, Localts, down in the video's description. They have some of the highest quality Minecraft accounts for the cheapest prices on the market. So let's get into the client for today. This has been one of my most highly requested videos ever. I have been procrastinating on this and it's finally coming out. I will also be making a ghost cheating video very soon, so stay tuned. Hit that like and subscribe button down below. And yeah, let's check it out. So first, let's check out the GUI of this client. Um, it's pretty basic i mean what would you expect but they have a really cool shaking animation i think that's really cool now the problem that i've had with this client um in literally the 10 seconds that i've been using it is the fps and performance i'm getting like uh, around 200 fps that's that's pretty bad and it has gone down to like under 100 you can see right there 60 fps i would never ever get that or anywhere even close to that on lunar client also when messing around with a couple of the settings and just launching it it's really slow like changing my gui took forever but other than that they have a lot of features and a couple settings that you can tweak i kind of just made a quick little config i have no idea if this will bypass but we will be testing it out i have plenty of ults so if this one gets banned we can just try it on another Alrighty, so i just hopped the to a Skywars match. By the way, I am loving the new <laughs> spooky theme. Okay, so it looks like um, there is a working chest dealer I'm actually kind of surprised about. Um, it looks like their um, inventory editor actually does work. I'm very surprised about that. Now it's time to see about the scaffolds. I'm guessing this might not work. I'm not really sure. Oh, seems to be working. Oh, kill aura? Working? Okay, everything seems to be actually be working. I'm very surprised. I was not not expecting this. Can we try a little bit of diagonal? Oh, it's working. Okay, so the thing that I noticed is that going up, it just doesn't really work. Um, that's another cheater. All right, we gonna we're gonna go HVH. Let's go. Oh, I I died. So it seems to actually be very solid. A lot of the bypasses are actually currently working, which is very surprising. You don't normally get that with a free client. And I'm kind of impressed. The speed seems really slow though. Uh, it's not that great. And I'm guessing the kill aura is not going to be that great as well. Looks like we queued up onion ring and I'm not loving this little bug right here where whenever I chest loot, um, it actually does pull up a target HUD. Let's go to middle right here. The scaffold's actually really fast um, for not flagging at all. So I like that. Um, let's just test out the uh, the speed. It is... Yeah, okay, that's, that's pretty terrible. Oh. So I'm going to go ahead and guess that it was the GUI move that got me kicked right there. So I went ahead and disabled that. But everything else seems to be working flawlessly. Um, I mean, there are a couple lag backs. You can see right there I wasn't even using speed. Um, I'm actually still stuck. <laughs> But yeah, as you can see, everything's working really well. Obviously not quite as well as a, um, you know, client that costs money, but it actually does kind of work a lot better than, you know, some kind of old clients that you actually have to pay for. Ah, we got somebody else right here. The visuals are really nice as well. But yeah, I definitely use this over something like, I'm actually not 100% sure because most of the clients still are bypassing pretty well on Hypixel, to be honest. But let's test out the no slow right now um wow that actually that actually works i am i am pretty flabbergasted right now to be honest the one thing that really doesn't work is vertical scaffold and that's like i know a big con but i mean it's kind of like whatever the scaffold doesn't flag at all i can go like this um which is pretty insane to be honest oh bye <laughs> Another thing that I just noticed is the Fulbright kind of fucks up the night sky. Uh, that's kind of fine though if I just set it to the daytime. Uh, yeah, okay, that should look a lot better. Um, and I'm also going to test the no fall module. I'll set that to vanilla. Hopefully that'll bypass. I'm not 100% sure. And criticals, I don't really feel safe using that on Hypixel since a lot of them actually will get you banned. Wow, the chest dealer is actually a lot faster than I thought it would be. Let's just test out the scaffold for a little bit. Oh. 
see we did manage to get it to flag but overall it's still really good and it looks like we did just get banned so that's quite unfortunate i have heard though that this client is really really good on blocks mc so i'm going to hop on there and we'll see how it does all right, so I'm about to hop on Blocks MC, but before I just wanted to show you the main menu. Right here, the Alt Manager doesn't seem to work for Microsoft accounts, but you launch this through the Minecraft launcher. So if you just uh, sign into your account there and then launch the game, it works perfectly. Uh, this is their Alt Manager right here. Uh, you can generate cracked accounts, which is really cool if you're playing Blocks MC. Also, if you go to their multiplayer, you can see that they support a lot of versions, actually. Wow, I was not expecting that. And now let's hop on Blocks MC. But before I register, I just wanted to tell you about the risks of going around downloading random things off the internet. Most of them actually have rats in them. Now you might not get a virus per se if you're lucky, but you most definitely probably will get a token logger at some point. Now what is a token logger? They can be sometimes even worse than a virus because they can get access to your login tokens for stuff like Discord and Minecraft, and then they can hop on and do whatever they want on your account they don't even need to grab the password they can just grab your token and then they're able to log in and do whatever shenanigans they want so be very careful when downloading stuff off of the internet and that is another reason why paying for stuff is actually so much better than downloading it for free you get better products and you don't really have the chance of being ratted all right so let's check out skywars right here i actually have not played blocks mc in a minute all right so i just loaded up my blocks mc config and i think i am ready to go let's see killer on now blocks mc used to be like literally the easiest server to cheat on um and then they did an anti cheat update and it actually became sort of hard okay wow that is a really 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 fast scaffold um that's actually really crazy right there let's see if it has a working tower it looks like it does to a little bit it's a little bit buggy i'm not gonna lie uh towers can be a little bit difficult sometimes looks like there's one more person up here let's see if we can get them okay i'm just honestly just gonna build up myself at this point all right I love the cams over here. It also um, it also works for chests, and it looks like the uh, the speed works a lot better on here. I wish they had a swords only option for the killer though. All right, I'm gonna play one more game, and then I think that will be it for today's video. Make sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Wow, that scaffold is just so fast. The speed on Blocks MC is still really slow. Um, and it looks like it flags a little bit, but it gets the job done and the target strafe looks decent Even if I do think that it's a little bit close. Let's try to go up to this guy. Oh, I think he jumped down and you are dead Good job Yeah, so it does appear like the speed flags if you have it on for a little bit of time Zoom Oh, and unfortunately, it does look like we got banned. So that was a pretty quick ban, but it did bypass for a little bit. So in conclusion, this is a decent free client. I mean, it's certainly better than I was expecting it to be. But obviously, if you want to bypass um, for much longer periods of time, you're going to need to get a premium client like Novaline or Astolfo or Tenacity um, are probably some of my favorites right now. And Rise as well is very good for Blocks MC. But that is going to be it for today's video. See you next time.